Hey everyone, so I'm back. Now I've taken a short break from YouTube. The last video I uploaded was at the very start of June. Um, it's now the 2nd of July. So the last video was the ultra um, marathon that I took part in, which was a 35 mile race. So I've taken a break both from YouTube and from my training and I'm back now to tell you what I've been up to and what I've got upcoming. So what have I been up to in the whole of June? I've been quite quiet. And the reason behind this is because I've been not only on one, but two holidays with my family. Um, at the start of the month, we went to Turkey with my family. Um, this has been planned and booked for like over a year now. So that was a lovely um, 10 days break. We went to a place called Olu Deniz um, and it was very hilly around there. Unfortunately, we didn't get to run outdoor much. We did two outdoor runs. Um, three treadmill runs and a couple of like gym workouts on top of that as well so in 10 days that's not too bad we did do a couple of walks like three or so mile walks as well and um, just to kind of explore the area but they felt like they were hikes I'm telling you it was so hilly it was just ridiculous and then on the second holiday we went to Norka for four days that was just a short break so we went with James's family this has been booked not for too long but basically we just gate crashed their villa we booked flights and just headed over there for a few days to chill out with his family which was lovely as well we only did one run on that holiday I think um, we just after the last holiday in Turkey and just the difficulty of training um, we decided that we just were just going to enjoy the four days as well with the travel travel days that we had in it we just thought we're just going to take the time off we're not going to worry ourselves about it so in june in total i did 96 miles um, and that's including the treadmill miles um, and that's also including the ultra marathon i did so i did just about 60 odd miles um, throughout the rest of the month of June, which is my lowest mileage month in I don't know how long. I tried to look back on Garmin um, and it only went up to August of last year and I've done over 100 miles every month since, so it's been my lowest training month. But I don't feel bad, I don't feel guilty. I needed that time off to rest and recover and get my both my body and my mind back to um, like a state of recharge. And I just, after, it's been a really busy sort of um, last six months, including working up to the London Marathon and then straight onto the Ultra after that. So I just wanted a bit of downtime and just no structure, no plan, run and train when I wanted to. I did go quite hard with the training in between Turkey and Menorca, I think, because I knew that um, I had, like training on holiday is not the same as at home, um, or it wasn't gonna be for us. Um, and I probably overdid it in that period. Um, I think I did one one or two runs on like the day after we got back and a gym session and then the next day I taught, and then I taught my core classes that evening and the next day I just couldn't even walk, I just, I'd overdone it. So that was, I think that was a lesson to me just to relax and just chill out and just take it easy for the rest of June. So that's what I've been up to um, in June. It's not been too much. Um, last week, we uh, got back on like early hours of Friday morning and I just went out for a gentle jog on Friday. I went to park run on Saturday and then did um, my longest run since the ultra on Sunday, which was eight miles. And that was good. All of my runs have felt harder than what they should have been. However, um, that's that's fine after holiday. I know I've taken, taken some time off and um, when you're on holiday you just you're out of routine and you eat and drink a little bit more than what you would normally do at home so next what have we got upcoming what's coming to the channel um, and everything else that's going on in sort of the next six months so my next target race is going to be the new york marathon which is not until the third of november so from i think uh monday so yeah yesterday uh 18 weeks to go until um, the marathon. Now, when you say the 3rd of the November, that seems like quite a long way away, but when you say 18 weeks, that doesn't sound like, in terms of like running terms, that doesn't sound too much. Um, typically, a, a marathon training plan is 16 weeks. So I am going to start, well, I've already started my training. And for the next two weeks, I'm just, I'm calling it just running. So the idea is just to run. Um, 
I want to get back the consistency of running sort of four to six times a week um, and I'm just running by feel so I've done two runs already because we're now on Tuesday I did four miles yesterday and five almost five and a half miles today and again I just ran to feel I wasn't pushing the pace and it wasn't going like super easy and um, it just was going at a comfortable rhythm and um, I really enjoyed today's run not I didn't enjoy yesterday but I really did enjoy today's run um, and I'm just looking forward to getting back into the swing of things because um, running is just part of my day um, and I just really really enjoy it so yeah two weeks of just running it's about building a foundation it's about building a base they always say like if you're going to build a house you'd always be build good foundations if there's no good foundations then the house is just going to collapse so it's the same with running if i was to go straight into an intense training plan right now my body would fail on me and i'd probably pick up an injury and then new york would not be would not be able to happen and i've got to be sensible it's not a uk race um if i pick up an injury then it's unlikely that i'm going to be able to run it and i don't want that to happen you know um you pay a bit more on flights and accommodation and you know it's the new york marathon so i don't want to miss out on that so i need to be sensible um so after these two weeks we're going to go into a 16 week plan i have never trained for an an autumn race or an autumn marathon should i say sorry so you've got a few things to contend with one being the weather so it's a bit warmer um which can affect pace hydration and you've just got to think about it a little bit more also is the social occasions now in the winter i turn into sort of like a hibernation turn into like one of those animals that just stay in all the time and so do a lot of my friends so it makes it easier to train you know it's colder so not many people want to go out it's the start of the year so not many people want to spend money however in the summer you find the money to go out because the weather is nice and you know there's birthdays there's um weddings there's festivals there's day drinking there's pub gardens it's just it throws the training plan all off into so so i've got a hen do i've got a wedding um which is a uh, bridesmaid at so it's taking up um the whole weekend so i'm gonna be there from thursday to sunday um not a, not talking about that in a bad way i have got another two um two weddings that i'm going to i am going to a festival um and yeah and then obviously ad hoc social stuff in the summer so it's gonna mean that on some weekends i'm gonna have to make up mix up my training so it might mean that instead of doing my long run on a sunday i do it on a saturday or a friday which is absolutely fine but i'm just gonna have to rejuggle and um, my weeks around um the format of my training is going to be quite like similar to what i've done in the past because i it works for me i'm going to run in around um five to six times a week maybe four times a week if i've got something on on the weekend and i can't get out to run i'm going to aim for two gym sessions a week one lower and one upper session um and then i teach core classes once a week as well so i get my core um workout through that so the running and then I've got to think about yoga and stretching and foam rolling, adding that all into the mix as well. And then we've got some races. So I'll quickly talk through the races that I've got booked. Um, so we're in July. Now, although I said that I was just doing two weeks of running, next week there are a couple of races that are upcoming. There's one on a Tuesday night, which is called the Milton Keynes 10K. It's part of a um, Grand Prix series. And um, I didn't get to do it last year because I was injured. I'm not 100% doing it yet, but if I do, then it'll be sort of like a tempo effort. Um, on the Saturday, I've got a relay event, which is um, put on by a running club, and that's two and a half miles. And then on the Sunday, I'm doing the Ultra 5K, which I've done for the last two years. I'll link the video. Um, and it's a brilliant event. Now, the reason why I couldn't do the MK 10K last year was because I got injured at the Ultra 5K. So in my head, I'm quite skeptical about it. It's um, five five kilometer races um, on the hour every hour. So if I was to run the first 5K in 25 minutes, then I have 35 minutes to recover before the next one. Now, the reason why I got injured is because I um, basically pushed it a bit too hard. Um, the course is like off road, so it's a bit grassy. It was really hot, so the, the ground was really firm and it's like quite undulating. So I, just inflamed my achilles which i've had problems with before and that just flared up afterwards so that's why i was injured so it wasn't a serious injury but it did knock me out for a couple of weeks so i really love the event i'm not trying to put the event off at all because it's fantastic the like it's 
like it's held at box end um it isn't like an open water an open water lake um, and it's got that track around it that you can do the 5k on and i've really enjoyed it the last two years and um i have um i was a first lady on both of the events so it's kind of i'm kind of going back to defend my title so i'm a bit skeptical about it because i'm a bit scared that if i can't perform well i'm gonna have like injury looming in the back of my head and i always think that when you get injured it's because you've done something stupid off the back of not doing much so i'm very conscious that i've not done much in june and to go into this race and do something quite hardcore might be a bit of a mistake but we will see if it means that i go and i have to lose my title for the sake of not being injured then that will that will be the case so that's all i've got in july in terms of races um august uh is they've got um a local race which is held by our club again called beat the barge i've never done it i've volunteered a couple of times so i was looking forward to that so basically you have to run and beat a barge along the river so it sets off when you set off and then you've got to try and finish before the barge gets into the to the finish line um september i am then doing a 20 miler um at draycott water so that's in preparation it's quite a few weeks out from the new york marathon but i want to get a couple of 20 milers in there's not many at this time of the year so that's a good one to do um in preparation then the end of september the 28th of september which is saturday i'm doing the nspcc um, half marathon which is also local in Milton Keynes um, which is run by Big Cow Running and then in October I've got a target half marathon which is the Great Eastern Run in Peterborough following on from that we then have the New York Marathon so I've got quite a few races booked in on the lead up to it to keep me focused and I hope that it just helps with motivation and the sessions that if I look at a session I think well that's not really related to marathon if it's speed stuff then I know it's going to benefit my shorter races and my shorter distances actually it all does help in the long run but in my head it's easier to be like well I've got other races that I need to that I'm working towards as well as working up to New York because third of november is a long long way away so that's a bit of a recap of where i've been what i've been up to and what we've got upcoming so it is quite an exciting um few months it's a bit different to what i normally would do normally over summer i'd focus on sort of 10k work but i did fortunately get a pb um in may at the vitality 10,000. did 40 41 so not yet broken the sub 40 barrier um, over 10k but I've not been sort of um, targeting that any time recently so I haven't got any 10ks I've just told you my races have got nothing upcoming um, to work on that so maybe that I can fit that in next year we'll see but there we are um, I'll have another video up later on maybe this week or early next week before the ultra 5k so that'll be the next race video that i've got coming up um go and check out last year's because it was really fun it's just a good insight into um pacing each five kilometers and then the recovery in between it was scorching last year so i'm hoping that it's going to be nice weather because it makes it a good event but not as hot as last year so yeah an exciting time i've got lots of stuff coming up with um coaching so i'm still working with all my online clients still i'm i'm a one-to-one -one sort of personal trainer i do group classes and also work with online clients so i've had a few new people sign up um, over the last few weeks which is great people working towards sort of a lot of people doing half marathons in um in the autumn so like september october time so if you are interested in online coaching then please send me a message i've got clients at the moment in obviously a few in milton Keynes, which are local but i have um one in scotland um i've got a couple in london I'm trying to think where else but yes yeah, scotland's obviously the furthest away right now so yeah i can work with you wherever you are in the country or whether wherever you are in the world um so yeah it'd be great to hear from you so if you'd like to help me with if you'd like if you'd like me to help you with your running um, and your and your goals that you've got upcoming then do give me a message however thank you to anyone that's been able to last this long until the end of the video thanks for watching it's good to be back and i will see you all in the next video mm -hmm.